Hi, and welcome to EMS Today 2016. I'm Christina Ackerman with GEMS, here with Sean Maxwell and Rich Campbell from Snohomish County, Washington, our EMS 10 award winners. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. So tell me a little bit about the law that you guys had passed in Washington. Well, the, the law was a little archaic in that it only allowed um, EMS providers to to show up to a, a true emergency, you know, phoned in through 911, and so we had to go around uh, that and change that law in, in, in order to allow our community paramedic to respond to non-emergent type situations. Mm -hmm. Now, how long did that take to get the law passed, and what processes did you have to go through? Well, we've been told by many people that it was it went through at miraculous speed and never to expect it to happen again. Uh, but we we started with the idea I think in the summer and um, it was passed late late spring and then became official the following summer. Great. So, what words of wisdom would you give to other EMS agencies out there looking to accomplish the same thing? Yeah, I I think one of the most fundamental things is I think a lot of times you look at things. This law I think could have been around since the 1970s, and I think we. Lots of us law-abiding citizens say, well, that's a law, so that's where it ends. And I think sometimes we just have to open up and say, well, the laws can be changed, and that would be a good place to start. Great. Well, thank you so much for your hard work, and thank you for stopping by today. Thank, thank you. you.